Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy and wanted to answer a question. And this is important if you're using Todoist and you want to have subtask and you want to use recurring stuff. So what was asked was when a task is recurring, for example, every weekday, do you need to do the same for each subtask? And the basic answer up front is yes. Um, at the moment, subtasks uh, don't reset when the parent task is completed. Um, so if you want your subtask to be recurring, then Todoist says you need to make sure that you add um, recurring due dates to all of your subtasks. So, you know, this could change. Uh, hopefully that's something, you know, I think it makes sense that you want would want to have the subtask be recurring with the main task, but there may be reasons why you would not want that to happen. Anyways, what I want to do is show you how you actually set this up. So I love uh, Todoist uh, natural language processing. So let's say, you know, the test it's called, or the task is called a test. Test task. Let's make it a tongue twister while we're trying to uh, create a helpful video. Um, and we're going to say it's due every weekday. And so to do is picks that up and we can add that task. Okay, so that's great. Uh, today's a weekday when I'm recording this, so it shows due today. Now let's make a subtask. So test sub task. And it's also going to be due every weekday. We just want to make sure we have the recurring part match the parent task unless there's some reason you wouldn't. In general though, I think this is how most people would want it set up. Hit enter and then we could just move it under. You could of course uh, created the subtask, moved it under, renamed it. You can always come back in here um, if you forget to make it recurring and, and change that, you know, say do every Monday. Um, we don't want to change that, but if you forget to do something like that, you can also uh, do that. All right, so pretty simple setup. Um, and of course, you know, you have your different options, hiding, showing, all of that, but that's the basic setup for that. When you wanna uh, have a task that's recurring and then make sure that the subtask is recurring as well. So hopefully this helped you out. Todoist is a great tool, highly recommended. I don't use it as much as I used to, um, but I'm always drawn back to it. And as you can see, I keep up to date um, with, you know, the basic use It's just such a great tool. And if you need it for, um, task management or quick to-do list, things like that, I highly, highly recommend it if you don't need um, a full-blown maybe team management, project management software, although I know people who do use it for that, which is pretty impressive. Um, so that's it for this. Uh, if you like this stuff, uh, you can also check out the channel or subscribe. Uh, lots of videos on automation, obviously productivity, time management, all that sort of good stuff.